Okay. <clears throat> I'm irritated. I am also jumper cables. And this is probably not going to be part of a series so much as a uh, one-off or two... I don't know. An infrequent, irregular, or just whenever the hell I feel like it type thing. I wanted this to be KOF because I had... Um, episodes worth of lore to go into and how it related to uh, you know personal life and all that stuff but KOF 14 doesn't play nice with a lot yeah I don't know if I want to go into that right now point is just need to play something while I figure out what I want for my next series so here we go let's start with the original this is the uh, Street Fighter 30th co anniversary collection or something. The original Street Fighter 2, which I don't know if I played in the arcade at least. I mean, I had to, but I think like hyper fighting was the business by the time I was like regularly playing. Oh, you know, hyper fighting, and then there was Championship Edition on the Genesis. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to play the original, the old ass, old school. Like, remember when I started playing, you used to be able to pick two of the same character, which I don't think you can do here. Bam! It's weird. I always remember the song that played here being different. But I don't know. I can't really describe to you what it was in my head before. Alright, so when I was playing SF5, I started trying to get good at charge characters, so let's try Guile for a minute. China. China. Chun Li may have kickstarted puberty for me. I can't confirm that. Ooh, yeah, gotcha! Ah. Aha! Alright. Goes off on leave to beat up some lady in the middle of a crowded market. While a guy in the background chokes his chicken. Of course, well, the truth of the matter is, is uh, this isn't the only level where some dubious behavior seems to be going on in the background. Ow. Ow, ow, oh god, oh god. She put them feet on me. I'll put the feet back. Chop! The flying chop! That's a weird looking dude on that bike. Seriously. Anyway. Are you mad enough to f <laughs> uh, Funny. Time to go to Brazil and punch a mutant. I wonder if the people, like the Brazilian people who played this, maybe this is why they prefer KOF. They were like, this is what you think of us? We're big hairy monsters to you? I mean, I thought Blanca was like cooler than all the other characters just because he was a, you know, crazy ass monster. But, I don't know. Maybe that's why KOF's more popular in South America. Like, it's 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 the business out there. If you played a... Uh, ha! Gotcha! But yeah, anyone who's uh, seen like a KOF tournament amongst other things... Thank you for waiting, Blanca. That's a big old snake on that tree. I didn't realize that tree is huge, but there's a giant like anaconda on it, just chilling there watching the fight. Yeah. Charge. Ah, damn it! Crap. How <laughs> your reach is too high. Too, yeah. He like kicks you from across the screen. Big old giant monster. I mean, look at him. 
You know he's on the juice. Waka's swole as hell. He be eating lots of protein. He be eating them giant anacondas. Mm. God, with the air throws, though. Holy crap. Guile don't play. Guile don't play for at all. Again, man enough. First it's a woman, then it's a not human. He's doing it on purpose. Uh-oh, Cold War. I love, I love Zangief's theme. Look at this dude in the background getting drunk. And I think that's Santa Claus on leave on, like, the far left there. <laughs> Look at that guy, like, <laughs> on the second floor just kind of sitting there dangling underneath the the rail. God, they get... They wilding out. Like, maybe if I got some listeners, they can tell me. Do y'all... Do y'all wild out like that in Russia for real? Oh, no! Suplex City! Too busy trying to ask the audience questions. Seriously, them dudes over there watching, they, they just wilding. Crap. No, suplex, suplex city. No! Ah! Oh, Suplex City! Dang! Ah! That low kick takes priority. Ah, oh, he put the muscle on me. Yeah, your strength is much greater than a lot of people's. Oh, oops. Come on. Can't lose the Cold, cold War Guile. It's on you to re represent America. Mm. Suplex City. Mm. That was a weird kick. I guess a guy who does like a backflip kick. Would, would do other weird... I mean, really. Pretty sure Guile is meant to be like an XP for Van Damme in here. Specifically Bloodsport Van Damme. Alright, I think I figured it out. Holding the low diagonal will give me access to both. Seriously, this song, song, song knocks. Man, Zangief, why you theme gotta be such fire? Get, get out! Off, off, you dude. Ugh. Uh, no! No! Oh, he's flexing all up on me, too. Ugh. Oh, it's so mortifying. See why Guile's covering his face? He's like, oh, no, them pits. I don't want to look at them. I don't want to be cornered. No one puts baby in the corner. Did I really just make that reference? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Mm, suplex City! That's what matters. Are you mad? Okay, finally it makes sense. Shit. Crap. Uppercut. Uppercut. 
Sweep, 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 sweep. Breakdance fight it. Mm. Just styling on this car. The car's just mad because I'm styling on it. Woo! Cut it close there. All right, yeah, that's enough of that. All right, which one of these guys am I fighting next? Uh-oh. Ryu, main character man. Here we go. I want to say Mike once told me he thought this level took place on the moon. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. I don't know. Okay, I know I said I know I said Zangief's theme knocked. But this is some this is the business too. I mean, really it's like one of the reasons why uh, Street Fighter is a, you know, is iconic amongst gamers. Its soundtrack is fire. It it it, it is hot burning fire. Mm, you cannot escape Suplex City. Ow. Ah, you... Stank butt. I got something for you, too. Mm. God! God, oof! Oh, he high-kicked me. Oh, put me through the sign. Like, where... Are they, though? I think they're on top of a building? I must defeat Shen Long to stand a chance. It's like, you gotta beat... You, never mind beating me, you gotta beat my homie. Which is, I mean, really, that quote is why Kuma... Akuma exists. Everyone thought Shen Long was a person, and I think, like, Playground Scuttlebutt was that that was Ryu's master. But even amongst that, uh... Even with that sort of thinking... It still seemed weird that it's like you gotta defeat the guy who taught me before you can beat me. That's like real, like be real arrogant. But turns out he was just referring to his dragon punch. You have to overcome the Shoryuken if you ever want to beat him. Which I mean, if I'm being honest, I've only seen him hit me do it once, let alone hit me with it. Well, he did hit me with it. And I can. I can never make sense of what he was saying there. Oh, I'm getting whooped. Ugh, okay. I'll try it one more time with Guile. And I might have to switch to Ryu. Or Ken. Since it doesn't matter who. Why do I keep doing that? Ugh. Come on, jumper cables, get good. Gotta represent America. Ah, mine hit first. Damn it, now I'm suddenly having input error. Ugh. Flash kick. Ain't gonna hurt nobody with this flash kick. Ah, jumped right into it. Ow. God, God, stop it. 
using them tactics that we get them called cheap in the arcade. Ugh, why didn't I cat? I, I need to punish that. Ugh. I'm not gonna win. Damn it! Ah! Alright. Well, I'll try and stick and stick with the charge character. Oh, wait! Oh, I thought I was done for good. Why am I suddenly not able to do it? It's over. That's going to be my best move. Yep. Oh. Good God. Oh. Alright. Mm. Let's try Blanca. Blanca. Big old monster. I mean, I guess it's not surprising that Street Fighter was as po as popular as it was, considering. Ah, damn it! I mean, because you could find it everywhere. You know, every. You know, you go to a laundromat. There it is. You go to a 7-Eleven. There it is. You go to an arcade, obviously, or a pizza place. Uh, Anywhere where, you know, teenagers might... Anywhere where there might be a lot of teenagers or a lot of quarters. Ugh. Man. Blanca's got a mighty leap. Yeah, suck it. Damn it! Ha! Drop kick! Get you with that Okada. Yeah, doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know. It's I guess it's, it's kind of like a chicken or the egg thing. Really thinking about it, well, because when I was little, Street Fighter was just it was already a known quantity. There was already Street Fighter machines everywhere. It's like, I'm kind of wondering, like, was it a matter of uh, Street Fighter machines being everywhere, thus it got popular, or did it get popular and then everybody wanted it? In which case, why did it happen with Street Fighter more so than anything else? Outside of maybe the competitive element, and Street Fighter kind of... I, I, it kind of cornered the market, because there wasn't... There were fighting games before it. I mean, it's two... So, obviously there was a one, and then, uh, pretty sure the first Fatal Fury came out before Street Fighter 2. So there was fighting games before it, but Street Fighter 2 did something. Just coy. Damn, Honda. You got no respect. I thought Japanese fighters were brothers. Thought you were gonna stick together. Guess that's the only canon in the movie. Fights it. Ugh. Oof. Keep thinking he has moves, he doesn't. That's Hadouken. Hadouken. 
Seriously, the sound he makes when he does the tornado kick just sounds like somebody getting, like, really frustrated. It's like, tick, 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 tick. Crap. He teched it. I don't know how he teched it, but he teched it. God, bap, skip. Mm. Uh. Okay. He's got the hand up like no more. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. Duskoy. Let's try Dulcine. Mr. Stretchy. I like the hands. I like the jazz hands. Yoga fire. I did like hearing that. I did like hearing the yoga fire. Yoga really lets you stretch like that. That'd be so tight. Reach into the kitchen from your room, from your bedroom. Ack. Ack! Oh, I'm getting worked! Okay, see how you like it. I guess he liked it just fine. <sighs> Boy, you know what? Let's try Zangief. Granted, being a being a grappler is a lot harder in this game. Whoa! Why do you make an elephant noise? That's weird. Big Geef. Let's try it, Geef. Big old Geef. Box, so, Eesh. I mean, respect to the people who made Geef work back in the day. I mean, you know, this is before command grab, so you just had to get in close like that. I mean, he technically has a command grab, but good luck landing it. Stretch on my Her dress is orange in the portrait. Oh, I guess this is before she had the Kiko Kiko Ken. So close. Ugh, I keep... keep... Ugh, they switched the... 
Why didn't they make that the select button instead of screwing my whole muscle memory thing up? God, ah, I'm already dizzy. Why can't you just kick it out of the air? Ah. Oh. I'm just getting whooped. This is probably where I would have given up some quarters anyway. Alright, Ken. It's your Tom Cruise looking butt. Ryu, have you heard the good word of Scientology? Spam. See how you like it. Mm. See you like it. You butthead. You're lucky I don't put the second controller in here and just cheat my way through this. Like I used to do on the SNES. Well, like I used to do on my friend's SNES. I was a Genesis kid. Ooh, getting, yeah, getting worked in that corner. It's probably safe to uh, say that Ken and Ryu were kind of busted in this first iteration of Street Fighter. They just had tools for everything. I don't know, maybe an expert will say otherwise. Explain to me otherwise, I'm not saying I think I'm right on this. Just my guess. An assumption I'm forming based on how much difficulty I had with Ryu. And yeah. I liked the doll seems stage. There was a lot going on in it. I did kind of look at this and think, oh, is this what India looks like? It's very colorful. Thought I anticipated that. Mm. Behind you, some noisy elephants. Wait, so is Tosim supposed to be some sort of royalty, or is he just borrowing someone's palace? Slow motion Hadoukens are really screwing him up. Mm. Seriously, the thought of being able to throw a Hadouken was like the realest stuff to me as a kid. For longer than I should probably be willing to admit, I held to the idea that it was actually possible to throw them, and you just had to know how. And the real trick was figuring out how. All right. Dos Koi. I've been watching an anime about sumo wrestling a lot as of late. It's part of my Saturday morning rotation. Um, Kinomaru Sumo. It's pretty good. Like, if you like shonen or sports anime, it's not bad. It's fun. It's kind of got a similar plot as uh, Kuroko's... Kuroko... Kuroko's basketball? Blah, yeah. Instead of the generation of miracles, you have these, uh... Like, five middle school sumo wrestlers who were given names of swords and were dubbed Sacred Tre- Yeah, so basically, instead of the generation of miracles, you have the Sacred Treasures. And they all go to end up in high school and start trying to, uh... You know, clash. 
looking for opportunities to, you know, fight and all that. And it's not as good as Kuroko's Basketball, but it's still really good. It's still fun. It's definitely worth watching, even if you aren't interested in sumo wrestling. That said, sumo wrestling is kind of an interesting thing. It's like... Part spiritual ritual, part combat sport. It's so bizarre. To the point that, like, the events literally start with the current champ coming to the ring to stomp it out for ghosts. <laughs> they literally go in there. It's like time to stomp out the ghosts. Put on your ceremonial belt that has the thing that's used to scare them away. And, and you know, just stomp out the ring. Dang. I lost. Why are we fighting in a bathroom? And who was walking around with that big rope thing to make the ring? Um, I think so. Man, Ken looked real messed up. His Botox must have fell out or something when he when he lost that fight. Cause, Cause, God, he was looking jacked. Must be the American genes, because uh, they say Asian don't raisin. I mean, nothing against white people, you're just not built for, you know, the sun. I mean, that's probably not completely, well, I mean, really, the only difference is, like, how long, you know, our respective ancestors were left out in the hot or cold. Since I was gonna say, yeah, you know, a white person could probably adjust to the <laughs> adjust to the heat, but like a white person that adjusted to the heat was just, you know, Indian, African, Asian, whatever. They just got left out in the sun for a while, developed some melanin. Hmm. Throw. Gotcha. Corner cheesed you. Um, but yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter. We're all kind of the same shit. Literally same. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not quite me. As I'm an alien. But... My creators based me on you, so I'm basically you. Crap. Okay, 18. Ken's just kind of like, eh, I guess. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's time to take on Shadowloo! Starting with my boy, Mike ba Balrog! Balrog. Yeah, Balrog. Hey, not too long ago, he actually found out about that. Didn't seem to care that much. I think he joked about lawsuits, um, so I think he would have had more problems from Don King. Crap! Ah, dang it! Thought I could get him. You'd have probably had, you know, Don King looking the suit cap kind more so than uh, Tyson. I don't know if Tyson would have cared that much. He seemed to barely know about Punch Out, which you know he starred in. Speaking of, you know, songs that fucking knock. God, this song. I love it. Well, then again, this is back when I thought Vegas was the coolest stuff ever. It, it's still cool, but having lived out there, I realized it's just not for me. I mean, it's not for me to live out there. Visit, sure. And, you know, I got family out there, so extended visits are fine. Thought I, thought I was anticipating something there. Um... Run into that. Run into that fireball. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> I anticipated that one. Holy shoot, he's not dead. Ah, crap. Ah, ah. No! Stop it! No! Ah! Oh, that effing yo-yo... 
Uh, okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna it's about half an hour. We're gonna come back later and um, we're gonna try and beat this. We can do this. Yeah.